Hi, this is Lori with Lice Clinics of America. If you're watching this video, odds are good you've received a bottle of our oil treatment. You've applied that to the hair, left it in a minimum of 10 minutes, and then shampooed that out. What that has done is it has killed every live louse that was in the hair at that moment. Now you still have some eggs to tackle. And so this video is going to show you how to do a good effective comb out, getting the bulk of the eggs and eggshells out of the hair. So you're gonna want some things before you start. If you need to get all of the snarls or tangles out of the hair with a good detangling comb, you're going to want to have some clips, three clips or ponytail holders or something to put the hair into sections, some sort of comb to do parting, ideally a rat tail comb, and then lastly, a good knit comb. The Terminator knit comb works the best. It will do the best job at getting the bulk of the eggs and shells out of the hair. Um, not necessary, but it helps to have some detangling spray or some sort of conditioner to keep the hair wetted as you go. And then also you'll want to have uh, some pieces of paper towel cut into strips, a box of tissues, or else you can do this next to the sink with some water in it or have a bowl of water. And the point there being that you're gonna clean out the comb as you go throughout the comb out process. So what you'll wanna do is you'll wanna put the hair into sections. So what we've done with Maddie's hair to this up to this point is I've done a part from the front to the back, right through the middle of her head. I've created one part from the side to behind the ear. I'm gonna create that mirror image or that mirror part on this side. I'll show you how to do that. I'm taking the rat tail comb. I'm using it like a pen or a pencil. I'm taking my non-dominant hand and I'm putting it behind her ear. I'm drawing a line from the top of her head to behind her ear, pinching and parting the hair, pulling it away. And then I'm going to go ahead and twist this up and get it out of the way ideally close to her head so that we're not pulling hair from that section as we comb. So we're gonna get that up and out of the way there. And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your Terminator comb, if you need to, spray a little bit of detangler or conditioning spray to keep the frizzies at bay, to keep the hair from snarling at the ends. So you're gonna put the comb right down at the scalp. Keep in mind, lice eggs that have yet to hatch are brown in color and they're glued to the hair close to the scalp, about a quarter inch to an eighth of an inch from the scalp because the head is what keeps them warm and incubating. If there are white eggs throughout the hair farther down, those are actually empty egg shells or casings. Those are technically what we call knits. Getting those out isn't as important. There aren't lice in those anymore. Although if your school has a no knit policy, you will want to focus on those as well. So what we're going to do, we're gonna put the comb at the scalp. We're gonna comb into the hair and all the way down to the ends. And then here at the part, we're creating an overlap so that we're not missing any eggs. So we're gonna comb from the, from the root to the tip, overlapping all around that section. If you'd like to, to start, you can go all the way around the section first. As you're pulling out eggs and empty egg casings, keep in mind, once you've pulled an egg away from the hair, you cannot put it back in. It was glued in place by the louse herself. You can't reattach it. So you can do a few swipes before you wipe off or rinse off the comb if you'd like. But once some eggs get built up in there, what you'll wanna do is wipe the comb off, discard that piece of tissue, and then go ahead and go back through again. You can go all around the section until the comb appears that it's coming out clear. Then what you're going to want to do is make parts as you go through this section to clean up the section. So I'm taking my rat tail comb and putting it here in the middle. I'm drawing a line across the top of her head and I'm creating a part that's about a quarter inch wide. I'm putting the comb down at the scalp, pushing it in through the hair and going up through the ends. And you can take that piece of hair and lay it down on the other side. If it's somewhat shorter hair, that's gonna fall back down on you. You can add another clip there to clip it in place, or you can simply hold it in your hand the whole time. Now I'm gonna take the comb, the Terminator comb that is, and do the same thing. Down through this part. Then I'm gonna take my rat tail comb. I'm gonna do another quarter inch part. Comb the hair up. And again, work my way through the section, overlapping as I go, and continue my way down through this entire section. Once I get through the section and I've removed all the eggs and shells, I'll pin this back up and go to the next section. So 
keep in mind the incubation cycle or the incubation period for lice eggs is 10 days. And so you've done your first oil treatment, you've done a good solid comb out, you've likely missed eggs no matter how much you've combed. If you want to comb a little bit in the interim period, it's not a bad idea. You'll be getting any baby lice out of the hair in that, in that in between period. But then what you'll want to do is wait 10 days. If for example, you've done your first oil treatment on the first of the month, now on the 11th of the month, 10 days later, you will do one more oil treatment. What's happened now is every egg that's in the hair that you've missed has hatched. The lice is not technically old enough to mate yet. And so on day 10, you reapply the oil treatment, you kill the final lice that have hatched, and end the infestation. If at any time during this process, you would rather just come in for heat treatment and be done with the infestation the day you arrive, feel free to give us a call. If you have any questions throughout the process or need any assistance, also call us at Lice Clinics of America. Thank you.